far left hand side has a block of three which is identified with an N and that's for neutral within the ceiling row. Center block of three is identified with the word loop and has the permanent line connections coming in and out of it. And the far right hand side is usually identified letter L but is actually a switching line conductor that can give you control over the lamp by turning it on and off. If we look at the top two cables both left and right hand side they are the supply coming in and the supply going out. So if the supply comes in on the left hand side it will bring in permanent neutral connection which is terminated within the neutral block. It will bring in a permanently connected line which is connected into the loop terminal in the center and to bring in a circuit protective conduct terminated into the earth connection within the ceiling rose itself. The bottom right hand cable to a switch drop. If we see that the switch is say a one way switch we take a permanent line and the looping terminal in the center goes down to the one way switch and connect it into the common terminal. We have a switching line conductor returning. In this case they've used twin and CPC cables and the conductor is blue but identified both ends with brown sleeving because it isn't a neutral it's a returning switching line conductor and it's terminated in the L terminal really is for switching line so you have control over the lamp. The CPC once again is terminated in the earth terminal within the ceiling rose itself.